in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I'm the host of this particular program, known here on YouTube and many other places like Facebook, Vimeo, uh, MySpace, Daily Motion. I am known here on the internet as your friendly neighborhood mighty, 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 mm. angel snub number seven, your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. I would like to come before us, brothers and sisters, who embrace what is called black supremacy, embrace what is called black power, who embrace your darkness. It is wonderful in this day and time since we who are the descendants of slaves born in America, since we have been, de been denied for hundreds of years and have been taught to hate the dark color of our skin for so long, it is so wonderful that in this day and time that we have a pride and we have a love for this dark skin along with the characteristics that come with that dark skin, the kinky hair, the broad nose, the thick lips, the big backside some of us may carry. All these things we were taught to hate. All these things we show no love. We taken on the characteristics of the oppressor. We were taught that being light, having the straightest of hair, the narrowest of nose, the thinnest of lips, that was supposed to be beauty. And it is beautiful for them. But it is not, as you know, beautiful for us because that is not us. We are not a people of the straight hair, although we can produce that among our people. We are not of the narrow nose, even though we also produce that among our people or the thin lips. We produce that also. Everything they have, we also have. But I'm talking about these traits that are common to us, those who are the descendants of slaves, born in America. We were taught to hate ourselves for a long, long time. And some of us still hate ourselves. We color our hair blonde. We go to the plastic surgeon and destroy our beautiful broad noses and thin them out and thin our lips. And we bleach our skin to be as light as possible because we still continue to suffer from self-hatred. And since, brothers and sisters, those of us who embrace and practice what is called black supremacy or involved in black revolution, we know, and you should not want to, continue self-hating behaviors. And this is what we want to speak about in the few short moments that I am here with us. Let us talk about black supremacy. Let us talk about black liberation, black revolution. Let us talk about our blackness. Let us talk about our darkness. Let us attempt to talk about who we believe we are. Are we black? 
one thing for sure, we are of the darkness. We have melanin. We are of the dark skin. And we come from out of darkness. And as surely as I speak to you today, we will be going back into darkness. But in the middle of that, before we transition, before we even know that we are alive, there has to be light. But light has been an enemy to us, so we think, for a long, long time. And is it possible that the reason why we are black supremacists is because now we have uh, grown a hatred for the light. So we have decided to stay in the darkness. And when we decide to deny the light, to deny that which brought us life, because that which is Light, we associate with the enemy, the oppressor. Then we have an imbalance. And so it is wonderful that we accept our darkness. It is wonderful that we accept our being black. But at the same time, there has come to us and imbalance because in this reality, in this life, you must be, you must have both of these powers, both of these essence on your side. You have to be of the darkness and of the light. And that's what we want to talk about for a few minutes, brothers and sisters. And I want to tell you, black man and woman of America, regardless to your opinion, Wherever you are in this life, we are at different levels in our development. I don't expect you to agree with what I say. It is just like a kindergartner does not comprehend what someone in college might say. It is way above their head. I'm not saying that I contain some great wisdom that you can't comprehend but I'm just offering a different point of view that perhaps maybe you should give a listen as I have listened to all of you speak I have listened to the black Hebrew Israelites. I have listened to the nation of Islam. I have listened to Brother King Noble, Black Supremacy. I have listened to Brother Sarah Sudansetti. I have listened to the brothers and sisters who have come and been interviewed by our brother Sanetta in the House of Consciousness. I've heard all these different things. I just want to bring us a different view, a different way of looking at things because it is not about black because if you live in black if you just live in the darkness then why do you have eyes you have eyes because the eyes are designed to detect light so that one can see you cannot see in total darkness. So there, so something here that is missing, and that is a balance of light. But the light that you express is a light that you've made black. And in this situation, that's not going to work. Because a black light is a special light designed for something. But the real light that that sun is a representative of shines on all life forms. And it is the cause of life. And if you're not seeing life in your people, but you claim to have light, but the people are not responding to your sunshine, 
then something is wrong. And we want to talk about that in the few minutes that I have with us. So please bear with me. Let us learn together. I am not a Mr. Know-it-all. I am open to critique. I am open to other opinion. We are here to conversate. We are here to talk to one another. Not talk at one another. But to talk with one another. So that we can become better. Help me to understand. And please allow me to help you understand. In religious teachings, it is most important that in the biblical sense, this God or Yahweh, Yahshua, I don't know exactly how many of you these names, Allah, however you want to call God, but in the Bible, in the Christian Bible, the English Bible that we've basically been taught, prior to learning all these other names of God. The God in the Holy Bible, I believe it's called Jehovah. Most times people just say God. But in the Genesis, this God creates a universe. First. Now I don't understand this. This is something that we should think about. Then the God decided and declared let there be light all right and then the god was able to see what he or she of course in religious texts is always a he she never gets credit but god saw what he built or created and God was pleased. Is that how the story goes? That God created or built a world or universe then God said let there be light. Now this is mind-boggling. Now this is mind-boggling in, in, in and of itself because why would you work in the dark and you capable of shining a light. Most people who work, if they are void of light, they try to bring light so they can work. It's not too many people who work and they have eyes that prefer to work in darkness. Here's a God that's capable of light. Maybe this, maybe they told this story to show you how powerful God was, that God could do all this in total darkness and then all of a sudden then when he decides to turn on the light look what I did wouldn't, wouldn't it have been easier if you are capable if you are not blind wouldn't it have been easier just to turn on the light and do what you have to do then you didn't have to I, I just <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> these religious teaching when you really think about what you are what we were being taught a lot of these things just don't make any sense but behold, let there be light. And God was pleased in what he saw after he turned on the light. Now, if he had the light on while he was doing it, he didn't, it wouldn't have been a shock because he would have seen the progress as he went along. <laughs> I don't know. Black supremacy. Mm. Let's talk about black supremacy. First of all, this black that you embrace and that we talk about, that is a name, that is that is a color that comes from up out of white supremacy. This comes from an alien people who were in the minority that needed to design something 
to put them into power to justify their method that they were going to use in order to gain power. They gained that power by making themselves superior, more intelligent than somebody else. So they noticed that they were pink. And we, out of ignorance, called them white. They are not white at all. In the English language, white means pure. White means clean. White means righteous. White is holy. We know that these alien people of whom kidnapped us, our ancestors, and brought us to this land, we know that just by that behavior, that activity, they are not holy. They are not virtuous. They are not honest. They are not, they are not all these things that white is supposed to represent. They call themselves white. Our ancestors did not even call them white. The Native American people called them pale face. In the book called Roots, written by Alex Haley, and I suggest all of us to read that book. Kuta Kente and the African people called the white man uh Tuba, anything or everything except white. Kutakinte and other ancient people, when first introduced to the Caucasian people, these alien people, they never seen, these pink people, and they are more pink than anything else. They also described them as smelling like dogs and wet chicken. This is far from being white. But these persons, as they traveled the earth, they noticed dark people everywhere. So to justify the brutality, the exploitation, the enslavement, the terrorism, what they would do in order to justify to take their lands, they made, they called them black people and made themselves white and made a color scale to divide the black family because the only one who was alien to, the, these, to these dark people, as you know, was these Caucasian pink people. There was no as far as I know, there was no problem among the other darker skinned people of the planet. There was no racial problem until the white man, this Caucasian racist pink person, created what we call race. And they designed it by making themselves white, then yellow, then red, then brown, then black, black being the worst. And of course, they made themselves supreme. And then they used false science to show that they were, they had a higher IQ and they were better and greater. They used religion, their religion, and say that these darker people were cursed. Y'all know the history behind this. So if you know the history behind this, you know where black come from, why would you want to call yourself a black man? Now, since we did not know this information back in the day, we were basically ignorant based on what they taught us. Our ancestors would take black and make it something a, a, a sign or a symbol of revolution for these people that's called black. And they taught us that we should be proud to be black. Black is beautiful, not brown, not red, because when you said black is beautiful, 
And we know that black produces all the colors of the rainbow. That a black man can look red. That a black man can look white. That a black man can look like all the colors of the rainbow. When we said black is beautiful, our ancestors, we know what we was talking about. This was outside of what this alien oppressor terrorist, what he taught us. But the, the root of it, it still came from out, out of white supremacy and the this Caucasian racist Caucasian, this alien man, that's his concept, his idea in order to divide the, the human family, which are humans, meaning a man that has hue, and hue means color. Human being, being a man of color. And the white man is telling us that he is not a human being because he is void of hue. Being one without color, so you cannot be a human being. But yet, he is a mutated form of the human being. That's why he calls himself mankind. Or kind of a man. Kind of human. Oh man, this is so deep. He was made in the image of God. <laughs> Y'all know where I'm coming from with that. He knows that the black man, dark people, are his father. He understands and knows that this black man is God. But we don't, we need to stop looking at God in a spooky fantasy type sense. And we should also bring humility to ourselves. Just because you have an advantage over somebody, we should not think that we are better and greater. Otherwise, you fall into the category that put us in the situation that we're in because these alien racist Caucasian people, they made themselves supreme and better. They found science. They found religion that taught them and they brainwashed their people. And even to this day, they feel they are superior and supreme over darker people whether they were directly taught that or indirectly taught that because it's a way of life for them as soon as they are born into this world that they still control. They control the education, the laws, the media. They control everything. Everything is about them. So when they are taught this supreme mentality, since when they look in this world, everything is about them, then that idea is fed that's already in them even before they was born. And this is something that Caucasian people really don't understand. They don't understand that they were born racist. It's not your fault. That's how this world, this is how it was designed. It's been going on that way for hundreds of years. And it's going to take a lot to break that this thing called white supremacy is the worst disease that has fallen the human being. It has caused more trouble and caused more death than all the diseases, all the illnesses and sicknesses combined. This thing called white supremacy. We already know this. Because we are the number one victims and we are still the victims of white supremacy today. And what even and what will make it even worse, brothers and sisters, if what if what we call black supremacy is nothing but a dark skinned version of white supremacy. And that's what I have a problem with. That's my issue with this thing called black supremacy. Because it is not nothing new. 
you see that is nothing but the flip side of Caucasian supremacy and white supremacy or Caucasian supremacy is a lack of justice. It is a lack of being fair. It is the exploitation of women and children. And is black supremacy, is that also the exploitation of women and children? Is it no better than white supremacy or Caucasian supremacy? Let us talk about it in the next few minutes. So God said, let there be light. And when God declared, let there be light, he saw what he made and he said, this is good. The reason why we have a problem with light is because for hundreds of years, light or being white, it has been the oppressor. It has been or it has been seen by us as terrorism. Something that brings us hurt, pain, and death. So when we see the light or talk about light, we associate light or white with bad experience. But see, having light, the light, or white did not do anything to you. Even that color. Because these people were called white, but they were actually pink. They were void of hue. Do you understand? They called themselves white people, but they are not white. So we have a problem with light due to having a bad experience with those who were racist and called themselves racist and we still live in a racist society right now. The problem, brothers and sisters, with black supremacy is that it has a correlation and it comes from up out of white supremacy. If there was no white supremacy, would there be a black supremacy? No, you would not call it. And if it, even if there was, you would not call it black supremacy because you have no experience with that. The reason why you talk about black supremacy is because of our experience dealing with white supremacy. You have become the opposite. Is the opposite better than white supremacy? If, if black supremacy is not bringing justice to all the people on this planet, then you are no better than white supremacy because that's what white supremacy did. It made a group of people better and greater than others. They used they used science to justify their being supreme over other people. Is that what black supremacy also teaches? That you are supreme because I have melanin in my skin. Then you talk about these the metaphysics of things. Anyway, that you are greater and better and more dominant because of the color of your skin. Don't that sound sort of like white supremacy? Is that not what they did also? They did the same thing? The, the Caucasian, racist Caucasian also used their religion. They use a religion and use God to back this up. That God is with them. We did this in the name of God. So we have black supremacy. We have those who teach in love for the black. But God made the white man the devil 
and made you divine. There's a, see, don't you see the similarity in this? Now, if you can show me these same exact teachings prior to the Caucasian people creating what we call race, if you can show that to me, then I, I can shut up. But what I see and what I study and what I research and what I have observed from those who scream black power, those who scream black supremacy, I see nothing but a version of white supremacy or Caucasian supremacy that you have turned dark and you use the same methods, the same justification for what you do just like the white races. And there is a problem. That is a big problem, meaning that you are no better than the white races because you also will lack justice and you won't be fair. And when we hear you talk, it's all about you. There is no broadening of the mind. There is no embrace of all the human family. It's all about the black. But black encompass and on this planet, you have the black. You have the red, the brown, the yellow, and you also have the pink. <laughs> they might be white later on down the line, but right now, they pink. There might be some of them who are actually in the mind white, but they are very few. And I don't know too many of them. And the danger is that you become just like them. Just like your oppressor. In this world. You can't just be black. You can't trip off a of color. In this world. Brothers and sisters. There must be a balance. Of the light and the dark. We come from up out of the essence of this universe. We come from up out of darkness. And our skin color. We are a reflection. We are a symbol and a sign of that darkness. But once you come into life. Then you come into light. And your eyes open. And it is no longer dark. You see the dark color remaining. But you begin to see the the variety of different hues. When you are blind, everything is black. <laughs> Woo! When you are blind. And in, uh, in, 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 in our world, if you are blind, if everything that you see is darkness, being blind is a handicap. So if you are teaching black supremacy, but you're not talking about balance, you're not talking about the light, you're not embracing, embracing the human being, not just one particular part of the rainbow. Then you have become blind. And in America, if you can't see certain colors, if you can't see properly or whatever, that's called blindness. You become legally blind. And being legally blind is a handicap. In the animal kingdom, if you are blind, if you become handicapped, that is life-threatening to your survival because you have to be able to see. And those animals that do not, uh, that can't see, usually they live underground, under the earth. And when you're talking about being under the earth or deep within the sea, when you're talking about being under something, that shows you that you are on a, on a death level. Because those that are living, those that are alive, come from up on top of the ground. 
And when you die, and we are, when you are no longer of this world, then you go into the ground. You go back into darkness. But as long as you live, you come into the light and you are given eyes that you can see so that you can see all the hue so that you can see this planet and everything that's around you, the creation, so that you can declare, wow, this is good, like the original God did. Light brings life into the darkness. When there is no light, then you have death. The reason why we don't like talking about light and we don't like talking about white and we don't understand that we have to embrace the sun, we have to embrace that which the light is because we had a bad experience with those who claim to be of light, light skin, white. But they are of an artificial light. They are not of the natural light. They are an unnatural light. You can create all the light bulbs that you want. All the flashlights that you want. But there is no light greater than the light of the sun that helped and produce, put us or produced us and brought us into existence. And without that sun, without that natural sun, all of us will perish. And that is the connection that we need to embrace. We need to embrace light. We need to embrace white. In fact, we have, we should embrace white supremacy. Not the type of white supremacy that has been represented by pink people who have made it racist. But as a living person, you should strive for the light. That is why the ancient people, in their ignorance, they did not understand, but yet and still they understood the power of the sun. And we should also understand the power of the sun because the sun sits in the universe. The sun is what brings this planet life and light. And the honorable Elijah Muhammad taught his students for every physical law, there is a spiritual law. So we have to understand if we are practicing real uh, black supremacy, we have to understand the spiritual side of the power of the sun. And that is why the ancient Egyptians also worship the sun. We are more modern, but we're, we, we should, our understanding of the power of the sun should be greater, but we are, we have tippy-toed, moonwalk back into the past instead of moving forward. So our version of black supremacy is nothing but a copycat ideology that comes from up out of white supremacy because the creation represents all the hues that's why you was given light so that you can see everything and you're not just stuck in darkness so that what makes you and i we are much more than black even though when we open our eyes and we see the skin color we trip off a of skin color because of our of the oppression by those who falsely called themselves white. You should stop tripping off your melanin. You should, you should stop tripping off all this blackness. Because you and I, we are much more than color. Why you think you were given eyes? You and I, we were given eyes so we could see the light. So that you can see what's going on. So you can see where you're going. If you're driving a car down the street at night and it's dark, if your lights go out, you can't see where you're going. So all highly evolved animals on this planet have eyes. Those that are not highly evolved live under the earth or deep in the sea they are void of light and they are not evolved but those that have developed on a higher plane 
Those who want to go to heaven seek the light. In religious teachings, they talk about going to heaven. And when you look in the heavens while you are in the dark, you see light. <laughs> Don't you see light? I want to go to heaven. The heaven represents light. When you are alive. And that's why the Christian people foam at the mouth and they cry and they worship and they believe so because I want to go to the, to the light because light represents life and Jesus Christ represents eternal life. But we know that that is not a reality. There is nothing eternal. There is no eternal light. Everything in this universe is a clash and atoms and molecules are constantly moving creating life but eventually they burn out nothing lives forever not in this reality if there's another reality then that's good but we should just accept what is going on within what we know what we see what we observe with our eyes with our minds the eyes is the is the pathway so that the brain can comprehend and understand and observe. If you're just black and just want to be black is all about black, you don't need to see anything. And that's why some of you are stuck where you're at because you are blind. You can't see nothing. You can only see this blackness because this racist Caucasian people have made you sick in your mind. That you can't see nothing else. And you have become blind. You can't see nothing other. And you become just another copy of what he is. You are not no better. So since you are nothing but a copy of what he is. What makes you think that you're going to go any further than what he has done. And you see the hell that he has brought this planet. And you want to try to be like him. So basically, what I'm saying, brothers and sisters, is that we have to go beyond black. We have to go beyond African. We have to go beyond these things that have divided and caused the human, the human family to go to war with one another. And even though these Caucasian people are a mutated form and don't contain the Hue that should make them a man, making them being human. They have shown that they have the potential to, to, if they want to, they can live in peace and harmony with human beings. But as long as we carry the sickness of racial supremacy, that is not going to be possible. So there must be a war to cleanse this sickness out of the human being. Some of us want the, the complete annihilation of the white race or the Caucasian people. If white people disappeared today, the only thing would happen is that you would still be here mimicking what they left. So what? There are no, okay. There are no Caucasian people around. But that European, that racist mentality is now in your mind. White supremacy is, is, is bad because the only thing it did, white supremacy just changed color. Everything is based color. So since you base everything in color, when you look at the Native American people or Chinese people or whatever other people that's on this planet, you have a racist mentality. Now it's all about your race. And there is no concern about human beings, beings that have hue. So we might, have, might as well have stayed with the original creator of racism. 
at least we know what we're dealing with. Now you have become like them. And if you want to be practitioners of black supremacy, don't be like them. So now I see and observe that so-called black supremacists, they take our black women, put them on the screen with thongs, and exploit our women, just like the man, the woman hater, white supremacists, because white racists don't like their women either. It's just another way to have a servant and somebody to produce more Caucasian males. You don't exploit the black woman. You put her and place her on the, on the same plane and put her where she belongs, right alongside you. In fact, higher than you because she is a symbol and a sign of the womb of the universe. Dark, but able to bring life into light and make us who and what we are. You make a whore out of her and you ain't nothing but a whore. Why don't you take your panties off and stand and shake your behind in front of the screen? You're always exploiting the woman. Some of y'all black supremacists, I know y'all do drugs, drink alcohol, and you practice nasty sex practices. You suck the penis. Lick the vagina. Y'all some nasty. Woo! If that is black supremacy, I don't want nothing to do with it because you just like this other sucker that is getting thrown out of office. That's why this Caucasian man's world is falling down and you really think that you are going to inherit this with your crazy mindset? It's not going to happen. You are drunkard and you are pedophile. You are explorer of women. You are... You're a sodomist. Some of y'all probably mess around with animals too. You ain't no better than the evil white man, whatever you want to call him. Shaitan or, or what's that other one? Esau, however y'all want to call him. You ain't no damn better. And you know why you ain't no dang better? You ain't no dang better because you have not received the light. You are black. And black means darkness. And without light, you can't see. So I can be proud to be dark. I can be proud to have big lips and big nose and kinky hair. I can be proud of all those different things. But at the same time, I can embrace and love the creation, the yellow, the reds, the blacks, the greens. I can, I can embrace all the colors that I was born into because I'm not I'm not a racist I'm not tripping off skin color skin color and racism is what put me in the position and our people the, the, the descendants of slaves born in America that's what put us in the position that we are in today and you want to keep that going and put and oppress somebody else and continue to even oppress your own people with this madness I'm not a religious person, but the best thing for us is what religion calls righteous behavior. You still going to continue to be a devil? You still going to be filthy and trifling and profane and vile? I don't want nothing to do with that type of black supremacy. I represent black supremacy. But it is, but it is not called black supremacy. It is just called simply accepting your reality, being a realist. And accepting your reality is accepting the beauty of my skin color, the beauty of my nose, the beauty of my hair, the beauty of my lips, but also the beauty of this world. And I represent justice for all, not just for so-called black people, but for every human being on this planet, not only the human being, Justice to the deer, justice to the bear, justice to the gorilla, justice to the lamb, justice to this planet. Bring back clean air, bring back clean water, bring back what is fair and equal. 
build the heaven or earth because the scriptures also said that the kingdom of heaven or earth is in you it's right here but you can't it can't get out because you have covered the essence that will create that heaven and earth you covered it with the filth that you learned from an oppressor from an alien people void of hue thus they cannot be human they are being without color and when you when you are born when you are these things you are unnatural you have a handicap but for those who are well for those who can see those who are not handicapped then it is your duty and our responsibility to help the handicapped if the man can't walk then give him a crutch if they are blind give them a pair of glasses or give them something that might help their sight you don't be arrogant and think that you better because you can see those who need help then we help those who need aid that what makes us human thus taking us up to the next level that religion calls Godhood because now you have learned how to control your jealousy your envy your hatred your anger you have learned how to be God and finally after all these thousands of years going from a people on a beast like state to a human being not to God you finally graduated and instead of being called a child of God now you and I our descendants can now be called God and that's a wonderful thing and God's and I'm gonna say this God's don't worship God's parents look up to children the poor might look up to the rich but God's don't look up to another God cuz I'm just as I'm a God just like you why should I? I don't have to look up to you there's nothing special about you then we learn our place in this universe like the Sun has its place like the earth has its place like the moon has its place find our place in the natural rotation of things but right now we are catching hell because there is an imbalance there is mayhem and chaos there is confusion and in the Quran Allah says I am not the author of confusion we are confused I'm a black Hebrew Israelite I'm a Muslim I'm from Kemen that's confusion because the reality is you are none of these things and all those things is of a world of a society of a civilization of a time period that is going out that needs to be destroyed let it go a new life is being born when new life comes into the into the planet they don't use the placenta or the womb of a well they some of us come from the same womb but we don't use the same placenta as the child before us we come into this world by ourselves all alone we are of our own being so now there must be a creation of a new world of his own that is nothing like that which needs to be destroyed and the scriptures say God will create a new heaven and a new earth and the former things shall pass away let us allow these former things it's not it's not deny your ancestors it's not deny your history but that lifestyle that mentality those things we must allow to go away so that we can bring into something new and the something new is right here coming from your heart it's right here in your brain and then your hands will build what's in your brain nothing spooky about it it's time because all those things represent injustice 
oppression, murder, and hell. Now it's time for you to go into heaven and bring peace to not only yourself, but to the birds and the bees and this planet, the trees, and clean up what some skunks done fucked up. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Jot down your comments. This is your brother Tony Gimara. I hope that you uh, can understand and comprehend what I was trying to say to us. And uh, let's just talk about it. And again, there's nothing wrong with black supremacy. But Lord, please, let us not make black supremacy like Caucasian or white supremacy that which caused us to be in the condition that we now find ourselves in. Thank you so much. I love you. And uh, may justice and this new kingdom of heaven be blessed upon us prior to us leaving this life so that we know that our babies, our future generations will be in good hands. Thank you and respect you. I'm already 5,000.